Hello there guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea for my review of the Chelsea versus West Bromwich Albion match. And we do what we do, innit? <laughs> we, we won again. Ninth win on the trot. And just like I said yesterday, it was a difficult game. I didn't get the 3-0 right, <laughs> but it was a def uh, like a hugely difficult game. Um, first of all, talking about the lineup, um, as always... Just saying, I was right, yes, um, in the preview. And even though a lot of you said, no, Suma has to start and Fabregas has to start and William has to start, I'm not saying what I want to happen. I'm just saying what I'm pretty sure or what I think Antonio Conte will go with. I don't want to just make this about, like, my opinion, what we should what we should do, because I can't really argue with Antonio Conte. We've won eight games on the trot, now it's nine. So um, if I think that's what he's going to go with, I'm, I'm qu quite happy with that. And um, yeah, but the lineup was just like I said: Thibaut Courtois in goal, Gary Kale as the left-sided centre back, David Luiz as the central centre back, Aspiliqueta on the right-hand side, Victor Moses the right wing back, um, Marcus Alonso the left wing back, Ngola Kanté and Emmanuel Matic the two central midfielders, um, Eden Hazard, Diego Costa, and Pedro the front three. Um, and the game, you know, it was pretty much what we all expected, wasn't it? West Brom set back; they lined up in a four-two-three-one, um, but pretty much it was a six. 3-1 really like their wingers were playing proper fullbacks because the the two actual fullbacks were um the the whole back four was so narrow um so they're pretty much playing a six at the back then the three the cam dropped back to center mid so it was really difficult for us to break to break them down um neither of the teams really had a proper good chance on goal in the first half like absolutely nothing over the whole of the game we had two shots on goal and West Brom had one um, so it, was, it wasn't it was the greatest game to watch. And to be fair, we also didn't play incredibly well. A lot of silly passes, um, a lot of bad touches. David Luiz had a few sloppy moments, but in the end, you know, nothing came of it. Um, as, I'm not sure when you've seen the preview, because after I've uh, recorded the preview, I put in an annotation, um, annotation sorry, um, saying that he was a doubt for the game. He played with a... You know, something around his, his thigh from Aguero's tackle. Um, but, you know, he was all right. Um, and then the second half, it was pretty much the same thing. It just, at some point, Diego Costa just felt like, you know, let's just take the ball of them. They were, I think McCauley had the ball around their left corner flag. Um, Costa ran after him, got the ball off him, made a run into the box, and from a really tight angle with his left foot, put it, in the top corner, under the bar, upper echelons, whatever you want to bloody call it. Incredible finish. Uh, um, you know, I went bloody mental. Everyone at the ground went bloody mental. Um, it, it was incredible. Like, um, that, <laughs> what a goal that was. 12 goals already. Again, um, sole leader in the goal scoring charts um, ahead of Sanchez now. So, I'm bloody happy about it. But other than that, like, I can talk about individual performances. Thibaut Courtois, he had... Um, he had a good game. He had a few a few saves to make, but nothing major, if I'm honest. Nothing major. Um Aspiliqueta, he he was good. He was good. David Luis talked about um maybe one or two sloppy moments, but other than that, he was good again. Kayla, really good game, have to say. Moses and Alonso weren't at their best, but they were still good enough. Matic and Kante were good. Like I was really happy with them too. Pedro, I didn't really see a lot from, um, if I'm honest. Didn't really do anything. Hazard, he tried. Didn't properly happen for him, but you know you can't always be incredible. And against six at the back, three centre mids, it's difficult for any um, you know forward. And Diego Costa, first half non-existent. He had to drop back a lot to um, receive the ball to you know be involved in the play. But that goal, and then also after after we scored, like the way he he pressed them, the the way he um, tried to run with it completely on his own, the way the way he tried to make things happen. Um, Incredible, and again he didn't get booked, so he's not he's not um, suspended again. So Diego Costa by far man of the match in my opinion. Really happy with it. Talking about substitutions that were made, William came on in the sixty third minute for Pedro, and William he was he was good. Like um he held the ball up well. He made a few towards the end when we hit them on the counter after we sat back after we scored. Um he did well there. Fabregas came on for Moses, which I think I think we swapped to a. Uh, 4141 or 4231 or whatever you want to call it um for a little while until we scored that wasn't that was only 2 minutes before we scored but you know um i think that's what we did maybe william was playing um, wing back i'm not 100% sure because moses was for some reason on the left ahead of alonso and hazard was like everywhere kind of thing um 
But yeah, Fabregas came on to just give us a little bit more penetration through the middle. Because we, you know, as you know, we have two wing backs and two wingers. So we have a lot of players on the wing. But if they have that many men in the box with six at the back and three centre mids, a sole striker, and even if Matic or someone else pushes forward into the box, it's difficult to get anything if you cross the ball in or whatever you, you try to do. So um, I think that was a good move by Conte. But, you know, obviously two minutes later the goal came. So um, wasn't really there was no need really for the substitution because it was a bit pointless. And then straight after the goal, pretty much, or a few minutes later only, Ivanovic came on Vaza just to, you know, see it out. And Ivanovic did well, won a few very good headers, a few important headers at the back. Also helped out in a counter once, you know, um, just pressed forward after they had a corner. Um, but yeah, I can't really argue. It's a, it's a longest winning streak since 2007. Um, so, pff, bloody hell. I mean, uh, I really, really can't complain. I think if we win the next game on Wednesday against Sunderland, it will be our longest ever winning streak in the Premier League. So um, that would be incredible. That would be properly incredible in Antonio Conte's first season after finishing 10th last season. Again, we're top of the league, three points ahead of everyone else. Let's see what um, United Spurs and Liverpool do later on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. Quick question that I have for you guys. Um, Because obviously we play Sunderland on Wednesday. Do you really want to see a hangover review tomorrow? Or would you be happy with um, us doing one hangover review for the two games now West Brom and um, Sunderland because the West Brom game there wasn't really much happening as I said we had two shots on goal they had one and the other one we had other than the goal was it David Luiz free kick which was a fairly easy save for Ben Foster so um, yeah I'm not sure if you know there's a lot of stuff to talk about in hangover review but if you wanted to do it I will make sure that we do actually do it um, but yeah just let me know down in the comments but yeah that's pretty much all I've got to say um I'm buzzing, as I said, top of the league. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. Um, were you happy with the with the lineup? Because as I said, I realised in the in the in the preview that a lot of you wanted to see a different lineup than what we went with today. But I just I just want to know your opinion because as I said, we won nine games on the trot. Yes, Fabregas played against Man City, but he wouldn't have played if Matic was fit. Um, just just let me know your opinions, please. Um, but yeah, are you happy with the game? Of course you are. We won. Um, but other other than that, we didn't play that well ever since actually the last international break we didn't play that well then we had Middlesbrough Spurs and City of course Spurs and City are difficult games but we didn't play as well as it did, did before and against Everton against Southampton against United and stuff like that um but you know we, we keep winning games and you know that that's what you need to do to win the league and um you know if we win all the games not no one can catch us because we're three points out of everyone else but yeah that's it from me as i said leave me all of your thoughts down in the comments below leave a like if you did enjoy the video we do appreciate you know the the likes we don't appreciate the dislikes so much as in the preview no idea why you gave so many dis dislikes but oh well um and subscribe if you haven't already we do massively appreciate that please help us out in reaching those twenty thousand subscribers before christmas um but yeah that's it from me i'm buzzing and i'll see you next time